Hello there, my name's Tim. I've lived a long time, and if I've learned anything in those many years, it's that revenge is never a good idea. That and there is such a thing as too much bacon. Anyway, let me tell you about bacon. What's that? You don't want to know? Alright, well how about revenge? Ah, that got your attention. Well, my story begins in this very town 20 years ago. This is me. Handsome, wasn't I? With me is my bestest friend, John. Oh, oh, I love ladies' night in a pig and winkle. Yup. There's nothing better than a horde of girls diving into a lake of free booze. You may notice my voice has changed somewhat since I was a lad. Well, there's a very good reason for that, involving a goblin, three barrels of ale and a donkey, but that's another story. It's, uh, it's a bit quiet, isn't it? Woohoo! Well, it is still early. It should pick up late. Wow. Ah, Mary, my one true love. To this day, the thought of her takes my breath away. When I first laid eyes on her, though, it was as if I could hear a choir of angels singing. What are you doing? I was trying to set the mood. Well, stop it! You'll make a mess! I don't know if you've ever tried to pluck up the courage to talk to a beautiful woman. All manner of things go through your head as you walk over to her. What if she says no? What if she laughs? What if the big guy with the tattoos at the bar is her boyfriend? But sometimes, you've just got to steal yourself and give her your best pickup line. <coughs> Get your coat. You've polled. Or panic, which is what I did. I'm sorry, are you trying to be funny? Yeah. Is it working? No. Well, could I try buying you a drink? Go on then. Just one. I'm Mary. Tim. One day, if you're really lucky, the girl of your dreams will say yes to the most important question you'll ever ask her. Mary, will you marry me? Oh, Tim, I thought you'd never ask. But, as the old saying goes, anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. Hello, beautiful lady. Why would a vision such as yourself be walking alone on an evening as romantic as this? Oh my! And the next thing you know, you're half-dressed on your wedding day, reading a letter from your fiancé. Dear Tim, I'm so sorry, but I've met someone and I'm leaving. Alessio is everything you're not. Tall, handsome, exciting. And as everyone knows, women talk a lot about wanting to settle down with a nice man. What they actually want is a nasty scoundrel to treat them like rubbish. You've got another one, mate. I may have taken a few liberties with what she actually wrote, but you get the idea. Dear Tim, I know I stole your woman, and I just wanted to say, ha, the better man wins again. Go find yourself a plain little milkmaid or something. Remember, nice guys finish last. That's right! The rotten scoundrel actually sent me a letter gloating. It was then I decided enough was enough. Enough is enough! John, grab your things, we're gonna go get back at this Alessi bloke. Okay, I have to leave town before my girlfriend's dad catches up with me anyway. Where is that smarmy git? And I'm off. So John and I travelled the world looking for Alessio. 
We didn't have a lot of money, so we took odd jobs and bounties in the towns we came across. I fought bandits. Oh, uh, I'm dead. John stabbed cows. How'd you like me now, cow? I fought pirates. Arr, I be dead. John stabbed chickens. How'd you like me now, chicken? I fought some zombies. Ooh, I'm dead again. John fought creepers. How'd you like me now, Eventually, John and I were wealthy and famous. But still, Alessio evaded me. It was then that John decided he was tired of adventuring. Tim, I'm tired of adventuring. We've been searching for this guy for six years now. I've got enough money to buy this farm. Stay here. We can make a good living and nobody will try and kill us. I can't give up, John. I won't. Not while that swine is still out there laughing at me. I'm sorry, I can't go with you. But know you'll always be welcome here. I never saw John again. But I hear that he's enjoying his life as a farmer. How'd you like me now, field? Eventually, I found where Alessio was hiding. It cost me my fortune tracking him down, but I eventually stood facing him. So, Alessio, we finally meet. Do I know you? What a jerk! I am Tim. You stole my fiance away from me on my wedding day. You're going to have to be a bit more specific. See? Runes Vale. Six years ago! No. Sorry, friend. Six years is a lot of ladies ago. I don't care. You'll pay for what you did! Ah, uh, no, no. I won't. Ah! So, he shot me. And I passed out. When I woke up, he was gone, and so was all my money. I limped back here and healed up. I don't, I don't move so good now. So I had to take the only job suited to somebody like me. So you want to be a city guard? Find that cat in me lucky charms again. There'll be hell to pay.